Hello friends! Ugh, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> Sorry. It's really weird when you bite yourself. Right. Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. I don't have the box. I do actually need that. Can I have it back please? We're doing mystery things. It's ow. Just jab myself in my tit. This video is not going very well. Oh, I'm gonna have a bruise on my boob now. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are doing another mystery video, that's right, and I do have a whole box of treats which we're gonna show today. Uh, see, I'm a very good seeker. I should be catching snitches all day long. These are really exciting and I did actually get recommended these by one of you guys on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. And it was by someone, and I'm really sorry if I like murder your name. Kyle? Kyle. Either way, thank you very much for showcasing these to me because I just saw them, I was like, I'ma buy all of them. Yes, these are by Pop Mart. I will leave the link down below. The link is in the title of the video because I've forgotten what they're called. I think it's like the Wizarding World Pro Magic Prop Series Mystery Boxes. Did I buy one? No, I didn't. Did I buy a whole crate of them? Yes, did. Got a problem. Before I get unboxing all of these mystery goodies, if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to be part of our weird, magical online family. And also, before I do get properly started, I know that we're only half Christmasing here. A lot of you guys said that I'd started doing Christmas content a little bit too early, which, you know, we got best of both worlds today because I didn't realize I was gonna move my set to this angle. Did I prepare for Christmas over here? No, I didn't. So we're only half festive today. You're welcome, let's get started. Now, before we get unboxing, I'm gonna talk about my magical attire. That's right, you guys have seen me wearing these before, but I have got a special announcement. This Black Friday, there are gonna be some pretty magical deals over on my store, OrdinaryOwl.com. That's right, there are gonna be some pretty hefty discounts up to 40% on a lot of the products, which honestly, I'm very excited about. This is the first time we've done a pretty mega sale like this and for Black Friday. So if you have been interested in any of my magical wears then head over to ordinaryowl.com this Black Friday. Okay I will also leave some more details down below but let's get started because I'm ready to unbox. Don't know about you guys. Let's start by talking about how much these cost. So this here is a whole set. I don't know if they're gonna be the actual all 12 of them or I don't think so. Like I was under the impression these are just mystery ones so I could hopefully have duplicates in here. But yes, you can buy the whole set for £84, or if you're in the US, it's about $114. Now you can buy these individually, so single mystery boxes, and they cost around £7 or around £9 well, sorry, $9.50. So yeah, leave the link down below. I got these direct from the Pop Mart website and I can't wait to a box. Let's have a look at the box. So here we have it, the whole set, and it is indeed by Pop Mart, and these are officially licensed by The Wizarding World. And we've got a Harry Potter on the front with a golden snitch. So let's have a look at the sides. We've got little Hedwig, magical creatures, and all the official branding. Um, this is spoilers about all the 12 characters that we can get on here, or in these rather. My favorite part, it's, it says there are 12 designs. May have secret, may have secret. And now I kind of want to know what this secret is. It's like, is there a secret design? I don't know. So yeah, there we have it. So these are going to be little figures and I think they come with their little props, which is one of my favorite things personally. Do I have my knife to open this? Yes, I do. Can I be trusted with sharp objects? No, I cannot. Everyone has been commenting on my hand for the past few videos. There was one a week ago, there was one the other day because they were filmed on the same day and I had a bandage on my hand, I'm fine. I just had a little, little accident. You may have seen the video where that happened. I think it was the last Akio box, but yes, I did a little flippy flip by accident accident and cut myself. I'm all healed now. We're all good. So let's get opening then. Oh, this is very exciting. They sent me like a whole display. Like, look at this. Does Harry just pop up? Like, I think I know how this display works. I think if you bring it up, are you going to open? Oh, there we go. I think you can... <gasps> Welcome to Cherry's Magical Store! 
got <laughs> okay so here we have it we have got <laughs> quite a lot of these boxes right here and they've got pull tabs which you guys know from previous videos of mine that I love a good pull tab okay I'm gonna have a little look see at what one of these boxes oh they're so cute these are brand new um there you go oh there's the secret I may have found the secret on here um I'm not sure what that secret could be but I guess we will find out it's gonna be mystery characters so there's actually Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so the twelfth one is a mystery. Are they not just showing? I mean, it, it's kind of obviously Harry's the mystery. <laughs> I love it. It's like they may have a secret, but we're going to give the secret away on the box. Okay, well, spoilers. Okay then, so here we have it. I've got one of the little boxes, the first mystery, and I think, I'm not sure what character that I want the most, but I've also noticed that it says Hagrid and motorbike rather than motorbike, but I'll let them have a spell in error, it's fine. Um, I'm not sure who I want the most. Maybe Professor McGonagall, maybe, uh, the, we've got Neville with the Mandrake, but Luna's quite nice. Obviously I want the mystery, which I'm pretty sure is obviously Harry. Um, and Lord Voldemort just because he looks hilarious okay without further ado let's just rip one open and oh my god these tabs are very satisfying indeed okay I like that they've got these little holographic stickers as well to prove that they're legit it's so exciting oh so we do get the little props and everything in the box. I've not shown you yet, but I know who this is and it's a really good one to start with. Bit of ASMR for you. Do you want to see who it is? It's Professor Dumbledore! How cool does he look in his robes? They feel really nice. I love his glasses. I think they're really cute. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, they come with a little card. It says, Albus, Dumbledore and Phoenix. Spoilers, we've got a Phoenix. Let me get it out. Oh, this is cute. It's in a little packet as well. Let's keep it all nice. Okay, so he, I believe, stands in there. He's got the little phoenix that goes around. How cute is that? You can see the bird at the bottom and this is meant, I think, it's tail that goes around. I think that's so cute. I think these are really adorable, actually. Oh, that's a lovely start. Okay, I'm intrigued to see who we get next. Okay, Mr. Dumbly Door can go here. There you go, have a seat. I'm gonna collect the cards over here. I'm gonna go for a random one here. Okay, number two. Let's go with the tab. Oh, Dumbledore, what I told you about falling over. I'm gonna try not to look at the the little, um, what do you call it? Oh no, I've already seen it, damn it. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Please welcome to the world with his feet, <laughs> Severus Snape. So here he is in all his glory. He's got his hand behind his back and he does have his hand out because that, oh, is falling over. You don't want to stand up, do you? Um, because in here we have got a really cool spell thing. Hang on a minute. So it looks like he's actually meant to be holding a wand. He's got the one space, but... Oh, his little one's in his bag! Have I missed anything in Dumbledore's bag? I've forgotten the Elder Wand. How dare I? What? Excuse me. Allergic to magic. <laughs> Let me get Dumbledore his little wand, because I'm so sorry, mate. I left your magic out. Like, here it is. Right, in, look, he looks so much cooler with his little wand. That's so cute. Right, there you go. Do your magic over there. Okay, now back to Snape. I'm ever so sorry that I nearly forgot your magic stick. <laughs> My dad calls them magic sticks. He's like, oh, it's a twig. Um, <laughs> Snape's very offended by that. So we have got a cauldron and it's got... Um, <laughs> It's got something in there. I'm not sure what he's been making, but yeah, we can have that 
stand next to him. Though it doesn't really stand. Oh, oh, there's a little hole in the end to put his wand in there. Let's assemble. Okay, these are absolutely adorable. Right, it's it's floating a little bit, but he, he's very magic. So there we got it. We got Snape. You can go next to Dumbledore because you're professors. And here's the card that says Severus Snape. And there we have it, cute little cards. These would make cute little bookmarks, to be fair. Okay, we're doing well so far. I'm gonna pick one from the back row. Okay, here we have it, box number three. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, oh, just completely broke that off. Let's, ah, I have no idea who this is, I don't know. Haven't seen the pieces either. Let's open it. Oh, <gasps> Luna! Hello. Let me get your little extra bits out. Oh, you've got oh, you've got so many things. Look how many things Luna's got. She's got a wand. We've got a little, which I would assume to be a quibbler, but it's got a snitch on the front. And then we've got some magic. That's exciting. Is there anything in the actual box? Nope, I think we've got them all in her packet. So here is her card, Luna Lovegood, super cute. Love that. We're doing well, aren't we? Okay, let's get the pieces out. So this is the magic that comes off her wand. Because she can hold that in her left hand. Is Luna Lovegood left-handed? She is now, and then you put her book in her other hand. That is quite cute. I love her spectra specs as well. So there we have it. Though they are a bit of a funny colour. They've made it kind of like, I don't know, it's a bit strange. But either way, you can tell it's Luna. I love her outfit. I love her little earrings. Very cute. She's got her ponytail. Sorry, she's like dropping her wand. What have I told you about doing that, girl? Right, <laughs> let's move on to the fourth one. Luna, you can go stand next to Snape. I'm sure, sure you're best friends. Okay, number four. There's something real satisfying about pull tabs that are just great. Okay, next up, who have we got? Who have we got? <gasps> Ronald! <laughs> we have got Ronald Weasley. <laughs> on his night. That's pretty amazing. TikTok's gonna love this. <laughs> That's probably my favourite one so far. Oh my god, does it actually stand up like that as well? I think it's meant to. My table's just a bit wonky. There we go. <laughs> He's got a few things. Oh no, there's a stand in here for his night and a wand. Let's put him on there. That is awesome. That is by far the best Ronald figure I think I've ever seen, if I'm being completely honest. I think that's awesome. That's so cool. I love his little outfit as well. And it is just a straddle in that night. Fabulous. Oh, he's got little freckles. So cute. You can go next to Luna. <laughs> oh, hang on. Nearly forgot the card for Ron Weasley. There we have it. Ooh, I've got that TikTok in my head now. <laughs> He's gonna sacrifice himself. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Everyone's fallen over. Never mind, they can stay there. Right, next up. Okay. I am like questioning whether they have just sent me one of each now. Or if we can still get repeats because we're doing suspiciously well. <gasps> the Dark Lord himself. Oh, he just flipped on out there. Are you okay? These are pretty good. I love how these are stylized with all of the kind of capes that's blowing up. I love that. And we do have a spooky Voldemort wand with some magic attached, which is pretty perfect. Oh, look at his claws. They've made him like really creepy. Um, oh, and they've actually been quite clever in how his wands attach so that he holds it in a very like, Voldemort way. I think that's really cool. There you go. You can pretend to have like zapped everyone and that they've fallen over because you are the Dark Lord. And of course, let's not forget the little card. There he is in all his glory. That's so funny. Let's have a look. We've got the next one. 
the slight suspicious that there's no duplicates yet. Unless I've just bought all of them. Either way, fun to discover them. But who's this gonna be? Oh, this one feels pretty different. I feel this could be Hermione or maybe even the legend herself, McGonagall. Ooh, I think we got ourselves a Hermione. There we have it with the sorting hat. <gasps> Sorry, I've just seen how cute this is. They have included a little Crookshanks. That's, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, she's holding a little book. The sorting hat with the face on her head. Of course, she's in Gryffindor. I mean, that's kind of cute, isn't it? I love it, I love it, indeed. I love that little cat. She can be like creeping up on old, uh, she's gonna fall over with that heavy hat on, but she can creep up behind Voldemort for now. And let's have a look at her card. Super cute with Crookshanks hiding behind the hat. Do you like that? Okay. Let's see who we can discover next. Are you ready for the pull tab of dreams? I told you she was gonna fall over. It's fine, she's defeated the Dark Lord with her sorting hat. <laughs> Who've we got next? Oh, spoiled myself, spoiled myself, it's Hagrid. Keeper of keys, grounds and keys at Hogwarts, oh my god. Do you not have any extra bits? No, I, I mean, I guess you're on it, you're on the, oh, the wheels spin. Oh my god, they actually spin. I wasn't expecting that, like that's quite a lot of effort for them to go through to make those, um, spin so yes we have got Hagrid I love that he's got his goggles and they are kind of see-through um but yeah Hagrid and motorbike not motorbike motorbike but yeah really cool love that oh he does actually like Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> that's great I like that one and let's not forget I definitely didn't nearly forget um Hagrid and his little there you go it says Hagrid and motorbike so there you have it that's his little card it does seem like we're just we've got the whole set which I'm not mad about because it means I've got them all um oh sorry I just pulled that without you enjoying it <laughs> my bad who's this gonna be there so who have we got left we've got Draco we've got Sirius McGonagall Neville and The Secret so, who is it? Do you want to have a look first? Is it someone good? Oh, we've got the secret. We've got the magical one. That means that there's good stuff in here. Get out. Ignore the silica gel. There we have it. We've got the special. Okay, firstly, let's take a look at his little card. So he's going to have his golden snitch that's whooshing, which is in this plastic. Let's take it out. I mean, that's pretty cool. There's that. And then we'll take the plastic off his Nimbus 2000. And then how do we sit him on? So I'm not sure what direction he's meant to go. I think it might be hmm, that way. Okay, there we have it. We've got the special, which is pretty cool. I haven't put his foot on properly. They're quite hard to get in. There we go. That's really nice. I love his glasses as well. They've actually got the lenses in. Fun fact, when Harry was filming, his glasses in all movies don't actually have lenses in because it reflected with the lights and played tricks on the cameras and that kind of thing. So he's actually got no lenses in his glasses. Fun little fact for you. But these do have lenses, as you can see. Pretty cool, got his little scar, got his Quidditch robes on. Um, I really like it, really cool. Okay, we've got four more left, and it does seem that we're just getting the full set of these, which I don't know, I just expected them to send me a whole tray of random ones, but here we go. So, unless I've been like extra lucky, but I suspect not. No, we do not have this one yet. Who's it gonna be? I think this might be McGonagall, you know. Oh, I was right! And there's some... Wow, she's got so much stuff. Okay, firstly, let's talk about her. She's got her lovely, iconic green robes on and her brooch. We've got her glasses. We've got a little feather in her hat. Love McGonagall. Okay, she's got a little stand as well, which I think is pretty awesome. So she can sit on her little stand here. And then we've got... Oh, so she's going to be teaching transfiguration because we've got a 
a little goblet. I'm not sure where the goblet's meant to stand, but either way, we do have a goblet. Um, got a bird, if I can get it out, plop, and her little wand, which is cute. Okay, now I think this little bird is meant to sit in here. Ah, like that. Oh, that, yeah, and then she's like, yeah, and then the little cup can go with it. There we go. I mean, that's pretty epic. I think that's a really good one. Um, and then we've got her card, which is here. Very nice. Okay. McGonagall, go join the party. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we need Neville, Sirius, and Draco. I think this one might be... It'd be good if it was Draco. Let's have a little look. I'm telling you guys, my intuition on this channel is uncanny, like it's unreal. Uh, recently I've guessed really well. <laughs> so here we have it, we've got Draco on his little broom, um, <laughs> which is quite bendy. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's got some magic to sit on, so I'll put him on there. But first, here is his little card. Fabulous. Um, and then he, I mean, he can join Harry on his broom, I suppose, because we all know that they're besties. Yeah, I'm going to ship it, Drarry. Um, <laughs> you always freak out when I say stuff like that. It's quite funny. There we go. And with his little, like, bendy broom. Woo, woo. <laughs> okay. This is kind of cool. Like, even though I thought these would be full mysteries, like, it's still exciting to know that I've got them all. Like, when has that ever happened on this channel? Hint, never. Okay, so this is either Sirius or Neville. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Da -da. <gasps> Neville! You don't have any other goodies because you're holding a mandrake. Okay, so here's his little card, which is adorable. And then we've got Neville, and that is the cutest little sleepy mandrake I have ever seen. Look, I love his earmuffs. He's got his little Gryffindor tie on. He's got purple trousers, which are very fascinating. Um, I love a good purple purple trowel. I'm making it weird, sorry. But yes, we've got we got Neville and his mandrake because he he loves a bit of herbology. And I guess that leaves the best till last. Daddy's serious. No, I'm just kidding. But um, here's a little pull tab. Okay, I do really like Sirius actually. You guys know he's one of my favourite characters, so I am happy about that. Let's have a look at his little card first. Here it is. That's what it's going to look like. And I think he's got his dog self, Padfoot, um, which is quite... Oh, wow. Oh, they've actually put a proper chain on the handcuffs. That's a really nice touch that they've done there. Like, it's a proper chain. So, yes, there we got it. We got Sirius. There he is. And he does have... <gasps> no way! As if they have included this. Get out of there. Oh, it's stuck in the hole. Hang on a minute. It has got a tiny little Azkaban chain. Now, how do I get him to wear this? Because, do, can I pop his head off? I think I might, might be... Oh, a decapitated Sirius! <laughs> so sorry, mate. Just, just, there we go. I've fixed you. So, yep, he's got his prisoner sign on. That's pretty cool. I do like that. And then we have got his, oh my God, look at those little beans. Little, little poor beans. I love that. Um, there we have it. That's so cute. I can't believe they sent like the full set and they weren't mysteries. Like, how do you guys feel about that? Would you have preferred these to be mysteries? I wasn't sure what to expect, but the fact that I've got the whole set. Let's take a look at the whole set of them standing up when they're not, you know, falling down off a bit too much butter beer. Be right back. Okay, so there we have it. This is the full set of the Wizarding World prop magic pop mart mystery boxes not that it was much of a mystery today because i bought the whole set by accident thinking there were going to be mysteries but i quite liked that because it's been really enjoyable seeing all of these up close and i guess for you guys if you do buy them singularly it will be a mystery for you guys and now you can see them in all their glory and all their detail and i think they're really really lovely i go i don't think i can pick a favorite i think they're all pretty awesome i really 
enjoyed the fact that Hagrid had wheels on his motorbike. I really liked the special and Draco. I thought they were cool. Loved Ronald on his night. <laughs> He's gonna sacrifice himself. No. <laughs> Um, and then we've got Snape with his little his little cauldron. I loved Luna. I actually really liked Voldemort just because I think he looks hilarious with his little cape. It's just amuses me a lot. And obviously Dumbledore. I like all of them, of course. So as per usual, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of these Pop Mart mystery boxes? Did you enjoy them? If so, give this video a thumbs up. And also I will leave that link down below so that you can find these for yourself. Cells. what character was your favorite from this set of 12 i would love to know i will make sure that i reply to some of the comments down below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this has been really fun to open and i hope you had a good time and don't forget a black friday don't forget the sale on ordinaryout.com and again i'll leave the link down below so thanks for watching guys i will see you soon i will probably be back on my christmas set not half christmas all right guys thanks for watching I will see you guys soon. Bye! <sighs> Hagrid's like, <"Wee." laughs> Well, we did a flip. <laughs> you could go to like a BMX tournament. It's funny, if they'd made his motorbike like, oh, I broke his wheel, I broke his wheel. If they made his motorbike straight, he would, you would probably be able to like go, Wee! but it's because he's got a bent wheel that he kind of goes in circles. Anyway.